Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little task with this little Synology NAS down here. This is a 411J which means it has four bays inside, four drives and right now it has two terabyte, uh, two, two terabyte drive and two three terabyte drives and there I configured in H SHR which is Synology Hybrid Rate which means that it can combine different sizes of disks in a RAID 5 but where it does not do the RAID 5 on the disks itself but it uh, create partitions or aerials on the disk and makes RAID between those that means that it can um, it can use all the space on the drives and still do the, um, the safety on the drive. Normally the size of what you get out of a RAID 5 will um, depend on the smallest disk. Uh, compared to this, the security will cost you the biggest disk. And if you do the math, that actually saves you a lot of space. And in other instances, it doesn't matter at all. But um, I'm running out of space on this. I um, This is the backup of all of my videos that I do here. And so every week I store about 30 to 50 gigabytes of data on this thing. And um, well, it's um, I have to do something because it's, uh, it's getting close. So uh, I have a... Um, portable hot drive here. This is a 3 terabyte drive that is inside this box. It's a Western Digital portable something. I have no idea what drive is inside. I've never had this particular model open. I don't even know how to open it. Um, if it's, yeah, Of course it's possible but can I do it without breaking it? Mm, I don't know. But the plan is to take the hot drive out and put it over in uh, the Synology box over here and um, I've just been in checking at the computer I have to exchange either the first disk or the second disk uh, the third or the fourth disk are already 3 terabyte drives so uh, I have to change disk 1 or disk 2 so uh, let's see if we can take this apart shall we? okay first problem there is absolutely no screws on this box uh, it has some rubber feet. I don't think there is anything underneath that. They're just glued on and there is... I can't feel anything under this tape thing. So I think there's a... It's put together here. So I'm hoping that I can fly down a screwdriver down there and... There. I don't care about the box. But I care about the hard drive, I, I need that. Okay. It seems to be coming apart, so... It'll be interesting to see what kind of a drive they put in here. There we are. Okay. Western Digital Green 3 terabyte drive. Okay. Um, I already have one of these in there. So, I guess it will be okay. So, I need to get um, this extra print stuff off because I don't need that. I think the box is reusable. I didn't break it. So, um, I see that I need another screwdriver to do that, so go get that. Found the screwdriver. Oh, and it's too big. Another one. I think this might just do it. Yeah. One Western Digital Green Drive 3 terabyte 
ready to go into my backup NAS storage server. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much shit in the comments for that one. I'll just put it down here. It's, it's rather normal to get quite good drives in these boxes. Not long ago I got a tip that one of these boxes with the Western Digital something drive were containing red drives. So, um, unfortunately those were not available in Denmark, but oh, in the US you could have gotten a, a box like this and um, very cheap. You got a 4 terabyte red drive in it and I think it was $89 for that, but well, it was not available here at my place. Okay, we're in luck. Uh, the power supply and the network cable was just long enough to actually have the NAS box sitting up here instead of sitting down there, which is uh, way better for camera work. So um, I'm gonna open it up and it opens up with four screws on the back. And uh, we might just change the view to see that. Over here, there is four finger screws. There. And then this lip will come, lever will come down. And it's a little bit dusty, but it's not bad. So. I need to be sure about the drive numbering. I do believe this is number one, two, three and four. So I will take out drive number, I think we'll take out drive number two here. And um, I'm gonna, it's still running. So it's gonna hate me when I do that. I almost deleted all my data on this last time I did this because I put in a drive from another Synology box that was newer. So this box thought, oh, that one has the new firmware and software and stuff and I almost fucked it up. So this time I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it while it's running and then um, take this drive out. And it will be complaining in just a second, I'm sure of it. And this is a Seagate two terabyte drive doesn't actually say that, but it should be. And I actually just put in one screw in that, so we will remove that. It has these plastic trays that you uh, put the hard drive in. So it, it can only go in and there's a little click and you know that you hit the spot. So, and I'll put in one screw again, just to uh, have it sit there. there and that should be good to go in and pop that in there close the lid and just just put in a single finger screw if, uh, if I've done something wrong um, I don't have to take everything out again so let's go see what the computer says about this okay here we are um, I did already log into this before I started the video, uh, so we can kind of see that now it's complaining over here. Uh, we can see that it's it's not doing good. It has a big sign here, not initialized, failing. Mm, it's not seeing the new drive. That's um, kind of weird. I've used 4.8 terabytes on it and there is 631 gigabytes available so that would be nice to extend that a little bit please go to the disk group disk group select do we have a repair somewhere it says that i should have a repair equal or bigger manage Repair disk two. It uh, does not really see that disk two. It did not. It did not change that. 
it still sees this disk. I think I might have to reboot it. I don't want to do that. I'll, um, I'll click around some and see if I can figure this out. Okay, I booted the, the NAS server out there. I did not like that. Um, but after I did that, it actually sees the, the right drive. Now it sees that disk 2 is this Western Digital 3 terabytes, 2.7 terabytes. So that is okay. It does not like it much, not initialized, that's okay. Failing, that's not as cool. And it says down here in the smart status that it's failing as well. So, um, But I'm gonna use it anyway. It has been working without a glitch um, since I got it. So I hope this is not something real. Otherwise, um, I might change it again, but I, I wanna make it part of this array. Uh, to see it if it will do that um, so we'll go in here to the disk group and manage and repair yes and it can select disk number two here two tera 2.73 terabytes next all data will be yes I'm aware of that that drive has been laying on that shelf for the last four months getting ready for this there take a few seconds apply and it will be starting that saving this will take forever and ever and ever so um, it's not as if we're gonna see this complete it will probably take 24 hours for the data to be distributed um, to the next new drive here. Okay, that almost didn't go as well. Uh, suddenly it wasn't doing anything, it was totally dead. So I uh, was very close to actually going out there and shutting it down. When I realized that I'm using this Synology NAS as my surveillance system set up. Uh, so there is some camera data coming into this and the uh, camera data coming in at the same time as trying to repair the drives and doing that um, was just so much that it absolutely lost its breath. It did not shut down, it did not die, but well, it was not responding either. So I went um, out and I shut off the cameras and um, now it's, it's uh, repairing this and it has been working for quite a while and it has reached 1.12%. So I'm expecting this to be running all day and maybe into tomorrow. There is a lot of data on it. It is like uh, 5.44 terabytes of data. Um, I should really go and delete that camera data. That would probably be a good idea, but well, it's, um, it's doing that and um, it is still complaining about that hard drive. It says that it's failing. So, um, well, I don't know if that's true. You can kind of see that this drive is exactly the same as the drive just beneath it. But the drive just beneath it, I do remember that I bought that as a regular internal drive uh, to PC. Um, but this one up here came out of a box. Often you can get these boxes cheaper than you can get uh, regular internal drives. And so that's often a good trick. Um, I do believe that I got this external box cheaper than um, the regular price for an internal uh, three terabyte Western Digital green drive. So I did save some money. Uh, right now it's not, well, I don't like it to be failing like this, but oh, I don't trust it to be failing either. I'm not sure if that's true or what's going on with that. So, well, okay, I'm putting in the finger screws again. This is not a good space for it. It's um, taking up my workspace out here. So I have to very carefully try and put it down there. Um, which is not a good idea, but 
I will have to try it anyway. Maybe get rid of this thing. Before I do that, make sure that the connectors are in there good. And very carefully lift it down there. out of the way if it loses connection while um, doing the drive that's not a good idea that will fuck up a lot of stuff so very careful move it out of the way so um, well that will be working for probably 24 hours and um, now I have another two terabyte hard drive for my project um, I don't know where I'm gonna be using this um, I had these five Western Digital two terabyte drives that I'm probably maybe gonna be trying something with but let's see how it goes so um, thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye